Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. So I just wanted to make a video where I'm talking to you all, uh, unlike my other videos where I do math on the board and like put a uh, cool music in the background. So I just wanted to be a bit different this time. And so, um, so I'm here, I'll be explaining through this particular result here, which is called interchanging order of summation. And I think this is uh, pretty interesting and uh, it has a lot of applications. Uh, so let's see um, what we are going to prove here. So basically, uh, this is a summation. It's also a summation, summation of some elements. So I have uh, written down the elements here in this uh, small square here. So this is uh, A11, A12, A13, A22, A23, and A33. So this is the total number of elements that you have in this particular summation. Okay. So... Uh, so the result is that basically you can sum all of them. Uh, so this is the uh, summation here. Basically, you can sum them by varying i from 1 till j. So basically, the first you fix j and then vary i from 1 till j and then vary j from 1 till n. Okay. But this result states that you can do the other way around. So you can swap i and j and fix i first and then vary j, uh, so this time j is, uh, starts from i till n, and then vary i, basically from one to n. So this is basically interchanging uh, the order of summation. So you have changed the indices here. So I'm going to prove uh, how this uh, is true. Um, so let's start with the left-hand summation here. So let's fix j, j is one. And then i will vary from 1 to j. So basically j, since I have fixed it, it's 1. So what is this? So this is basically a11, right? So this summation here will be just a11. There is only one element here. Now let's change j to 2. So this time i will vary from 1 till j. So I should write here i is equal to j so it will go from i1 till j so here also i1 till j but j this time is 2 so um and you're fixing j this time so it's 2 okay j is 2 but your i will vary from 1 till 2 so a12 plus a22 now the last case is when j is 3 so when j is 3 your i will vary from 1 till i equal to j equal to 3. And in this case, your j is fixed, so that is 3, and i will vary from 1 till 3. So a13 plus a23 plus a33. Now, at the end, what you do is just uh, sum all of them. That's basically this left hand summation. So let's see what's going on here. So um, a11 is basically this first element. Then this one is basically a12 plus a22. So that's basically summing the second um, column. The third one is basically summing this uh, third column here. Okay. Uh, so you're summing along the columns and then adding all of them together. That's what is going on in this left-hand summation. Okay. Now let's see what happens for the right-hand summation here. So of course, uh, I didn't mention this, but I'm uh, fixing n to 3, okay? So I should have said this before, n is 3 here, okay? Because we'll fix n for 3 and we'll see what's going on here, and then we can generalize this for any particular n, okay? Any value of n. Okay, so for the right-hand case, let's see what's going on here. So this time fix i. So let's uh, start with i equal to 1, vary j, j will start from i, j will start from i till j is equal to n, n this time is 3. So what's i here? I have fixed it to be 1. So basically the, the summation will be basically a, so i is 1, and j will vary from 1, so a12 plus a13, okay? Now, let's change i to 2. So this time, j will vary from i2 till 
3. So that is a, this time i is 2. So 2 uh, and then j will vary from 2 to 3. So 8 to 2 plus a to 3. And that's it. And for the last one, you just uh, make i into 3. And so j will vary from i, which is basically 3, till j equal to 3. So that's basically a single element, a3, 3, 3. And then what you do is add all of them together, right? So just, so this is single uh, element here. This is this and this. So sum all of them. So let's see what's going on here. Um, a11 plus a12 plus a13, that's basically you're summing along the first row, right? You're just summing along the first row. And the second one, a22 plus a23 is basically, again, summing along the second row. And the last one is basically the last element, which is the last uh, element, a33. So what's the difference between uh, the first summation and the sec second summation? Basically nothing. They are the same. It's just that you have changed the way you sum, right? So in the first one, so the left-hand summation, you are doing a, you are doing basically a column sum, right? This is a column sum, but here you're doing a row sum, right? Summation along the row, and this one was like column sum. So basically these two are the same. It's just, I've changed the way in which I have added elements together. Now I have demonstrated this from n equal to three, but as you can see from my argument, like n, it shouldn't be three. I can extend it to any particular value of n, any big n I, I want. I just have to increase this particular square to a bigger square and then follow the same argument and I will get the result. So. Yeah, so that's the uh, this particular result, interchanging order of summation, and I think this is pretty cool. And we'll see a lot of applications of this in calculus. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's all for this video where I'm explaining things to you all. And thank you for stopping by. Thank you for uh, staying till the end. And I'll take care and I will see you in the next video. Bye.